Hey everyone, good morning. Right now it is like 7.30 in the morning. I had to get up a little on the earlier side today because I have an early 8 a.m. class, but basically I just wanted to kind of take you along my day and kind of just show you what it's like to be a BU student online. Um, but yeah, that's all for now, so let's go. So just got my breakfast made, it's sitting right here next to me, and my next class starts in four minutes now, but really quick, I just wanted to show you how I organize my online classes, and this system that I have just makes it super easy to have all of my Zoom links in one place so I can find everything really fast. Um, all right, here, let's see. All right, so as you can see, I have my classes on my Google Calendar, and so the one that I'm about to hop into is this one. And what I do is basically for all of my classes, when I click, there's a section where you can kind of write like your notes for the class, and I just put my Zoom link right there. So it just makes it super easy to just hop onto your calendar, say, oh, okay, this class is coming up right now, and just click it. And then immediately, you literally have the Zoom link right there, so all you have to do is press and it begins to log you in, super easy. We're basically talking about mapping the spread of disease. So we're just kind of looking at this COVID model from Colorado and just looking at the different parameters down here. So pretty interesting. 80% for like adults 65 and over practicing social distancing and then like mask in public spaces, I put like 80%, which might be like a little high again, depending on where you are. But I mean, it'd be interesting to do one for like BU if you could somehow get like the information, you know, and just do one for like the campus. I feel like that could be kind of cool. All right, so right now we are taking our five minute break. This class is a three hour lecture, which is pretty long online. So my professors have agreed to give us five minute breaks at every hour. Um, but yeah, so that is basically my first class. And if you wanna see more about the honors college or the classes and the curriculum, I'll just like include an info card link or something up there so you can see it. Hey everyone, so my last class just ended and I have a little bit of time to eat lunch and kind of hang out outside before my film and TV criticism class later, but I just wanted to come out here, take a little break. I think especially with online classes, it's super important to make sure you're spending enough time outside and just making sure you leave your room in your house. Um, but yeah, so right now I just wanted to show you how I make my little flower arrangements for my desk. There's really pretty flowers growing outside thanks to my mom and her amazing gardening skills. So just before the weather gets kind of too cold and chilly, I want to make sure I cut the flowers so they don't just kind of die off. Then it would be such a waste. But yeah, let's get started. <laughs> my little brick outside and I just wanted to show you how cute these little flower arrangements turned out I mean come on literally look at that so this one right here this is lavender and then marigold and zinnia and then for this one I didn't want to cut too much of the zinnia again so I just put some um, of these little leaves from some bushes we have in the front yard and then marigold again 
And these are just um, two jars that I've had for a while. Anytime I get glass jars, whether it's from like cooking spices or jams or anything like that, I just wash them and save them specifically for this purpose. So I can just make little flower arrangements, but yeah, I just wanted to show you really quick and I just think they turned out really, really cute. So there they are. All right, so now that my little outdoor break is done, my first class is done, I'm just gonna grab some lunch super, super quick that I made yesterday, and then we can get on to film and TV criticism. Okay, so right now my chili is heating up, but I actually wanted to show it because I made it in my cooking class yesterday. So at BU, we have a bunch of things called PDPs where they're not like graded or anything like that, but you can take a bunch of kind of cool classes. So PDPs are usually in the form of sports, so like volleyball or dance or boxing or weightlifting, but there was a cooking class as a PDP and I thought that looked kind of interesting. So I decided to take it and it's actually a lot of fun. We just basically make different recipes every week and we talk about budgeting in college and how to, you know, still eat healthy even though we don't have a lot of money to spend so that's where the chili came from and if you guys are interested maybe I'll you know show the recipe in a different vlog later or something like that job and just checking emails and stuff like that but I basically looked at my planner I have this planner to kind of help keep me organized so especially with online classes I just feel like it's really hard to keep on track with everything so what I do is I write down everything I need to do in this planner so I'll write maybe like homework in this section and then things that I have to do that aren't homework so like chores or errands or things like that and then I'll put all of my classes in Google Calendar like you saw earlier so I just checked and basically I forgot I have a script due this Friday for my storytelling class and so we all have to write um, five to ten page short stories it can be whatever genre we want whatever story we want and so I'm writing about two college students um, but yeah so I'm currently working on it right now here I'll show you what the script writing software looks like I just use a free one but yeah so there's the beautiful first page I just have the first page written so gonna keep working on it right now So I just got out of my film and TV criticism class. It was a lot of fun. Today we basically talked about criticism in comedy and we looked at shows like Arrested Development. We looked at Key and Peele. We looked at Amy Schumer. Um, but I just want to show you, apparently my friend came by while I was in class and she dropped off these oatmeal cookies and I just had a couple. They're really, really good. So thank you. All right, so right now it is around 4.45 p.m. and my next class doesn't actually start until 6.30, but right now I figured I would go look at the script. So the class that starts at 6.30 is Intro to Directing. Again, since I'm a film and TV major, a lot of my classes today were film oriented. Um, but our professor told us to look over this script that we read together last week and just kind of, you know, figure out what the main conflict is, what the resolution is, protagonist, antagonist, figure out the theme and stuff like that. So I did some work on it yesterday, but I just wanted to look it over again just to make sure I was really prepared for class um, because he usually asks a lot of questions and it's very discussion based. So I just wanted to be ready um, to kind of give my commentary on the script and what I thought about it. So that's what I'm doing right now. <laughs> So 
black outside. Wednesdays are a pretty long day for me, so I really try to get outside when I can because I just feel like my mood is a lot better when I'm outside. And right now, like fall is just starting and I live in upstate New York, so it really is the most beautiful time of year, I think for my town at least. Um, but yeah, I thought I would come outside and just talk to you guys a little bit more about just my classes that I'm taking today since that is the whole point of this vlog. Um, but I have directing next and directing honestly has been my favorite class this semester. I'm really excited about it. My professor is amazing. Um, and we've just gotten to talk a lot about the art of acting and gotten to explore a lot of really great films. For example, um, the last film that our professor told us to watch was On the Waterfront um, with Marlon Brando. And I don't know if you guys have ever seen it. This is the first time that I had watched it personally, but it was so good and I just loved it. I think it's definitely one of my new favorite movies. So if you have a chance, please watch it. It is so, so good. Really a classic. The acting in it is just phenomenal and it's just a really beautifully made film. Um, and in terms of where you can see it, I like rented it off of Amazon, I think for like two or three dollars. And it was like one of those things where you pay it and then you have like 48 hours to watch it. So I did that and honestly it was worth it. It was a really, really good movie. So hopefully you guys take my recommendation and watch it too. And let me know what you think if you do end up watching it. Um, but yeah, that's just what I want to talk about. Nice little calm rant about directing in my classes. Um, and to dive into a little more detail for those of you who might not know me super well, like I study film and TV and I really, really love the College of Communication. It's a really great community of people and I wish that I was in Boston. I wish that I was on campus, but I have to say that the professors at Calm are doing a really, really good job of kind of navigating this whole hybrid system. Like I mentioned earlier with my film and TV criticism professor, um, my directing professor has just been amazing when the class started. So basically I was supposed to take directing and a lot of other students were supposed to take directing but BU said that they would not offer production classes online since it's very hands-on and it just didn't feel right so my professor created an alternative called intro to directing and when the class started on the first day I remember he told us he was like you guys I just want you to know I know it's a tough situation for everybody but this is not a watered-down version of the directing class he was like I spent all summer working on this curriculum to make sure it was really good and that you were getting something out of it and it didn't feel like a waste of your time so it was just very clear to me that the professors um, at least especially in uh, the College of Communications we're working really really hard to make this semester still good and just make sure we learn a lot even with this kind of weird situation so I just wanted to put that in this video really quick um, but yeah so that's BUCOM online in a nutshell and why don't we go back inside and see what else is up and then it'll be time for directing So for me, at, when I did the first read through, I thought it might be Roger also, but as I kept reading it, I just felt more drawn to Jessica's choices. And while Roger felt like he was the driving force in the sense that he kept asking her and, you know, kept trying to talk to her, I just felt like uh, as I was reading, I just wanted to know what Jessica was thinking and she was the one that I was really rooting for. So to me, Jessica came across as the protagonist. <laughs> So that was the end of my directing class. My professor just kind of ended class by telling us a little bit more about objective and backstory. So our assignment for next week is to basically just figure out the backstories of the two main characters we talked about today and just have that ready for our discussion on Wednesday next week. Um, but yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel and joining me on my Day in My Life at BU Online Edition. It was really fun to film, so hopefully there will be more vlogs coming your way soon. Um, but for now, all I have left to say is good night, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone.